What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is PokeTube. Today, we got another banger video for you bros. But before we get into the video, feel free to drop a like and subscribe with notifications turned on guys. Click that little bell right next to the subscribe button, my dudes. And be notified every time we do upload a video and go live because I post daily Fortnite content. Maybe some Apex. I'm not too sure. Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Today's like goal is 100 likes, my dude. Can we smash 100 likes? On today's video, I'm pretty sure we could. I also want to apologize for like the repeat of the background videos. It's just that all these new information was coming out before I even pre-recorded any videos to upload. So, sad. I'm sorry, guys. So, guys, today's video, I want to talk about three things coming up on Fortnite for version 740's update. So, Fortnite has released a balance adjustment page. I'm going to read to you guys and show on screen right now everything that Fortnite is changing with version 74, with version 7. 40s update tomorrow. So Epic says, hey Fortnite community, wanted to give a sneak peek at some of the changes coming in this week's version 740s update. Firstly, players will no longer be able to smash through structures. Oh my god, bro. This is the greatest thing ever. How many times you guys wasn't getting into a build battle and out of nowhere, a player just comes and smashes through it and kills everybody and then he flies away with two kills. Next up, zip lines interact prompt added and using the zip line will grant fall damage immunity. So basically now we're no longer gonna fall to our deaths when we accidentally jump off the zip line or somebody's zip lining with us, we hit and we drop, we're not gonna die. So thank God for that. Thank God. Epic. This is actually a pretty big one, guys. Hand cannon structure damage reduced from 150 to 100. So now you can imagine that breaking walls and breaking structures are not going to be as easy as before. So they have been listening to us a little bit, but I think they should remove the hand cannon. Personally, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Next up, guys, turbo build delay decreased from 0.15 seconds to 0.05. Now, that's actually a pretty big change. Now, when somebody's just spamming you with a P90, you can turbo build to protect yourself, bro. They won't be facing through your build just like that, like they usually do. And next thing you know, you wonder, yo, how'd they get in here, bro? And next thing you know, you're dead. It's not gonna happen this time. Another big thing, rocket launcher reload time increased from 2.52 seconds to 3.24. That's actually a pretty significant change, guys, because now noobs are no longer gonna be able to spam rockets at you continuously so quick, you're not even able to blink. So thank God for that. As I said before, Epic has really been listening to us lately, guys. Maybe it's because Apex came out. Here's something that I've been wondering why they never added, but now they're gonna add the ability to crouch while in edit mode. This should have been a thing from the beginning of Fortnite. Why are they only now added in crouch in edit mode? I don't understand that, but hey, at least they're, at least they're finally fixing the game. Also, guys, don't forget about the share the love event and the overtime challenges coming out tomorrow with version 740's update. We are gonna be completing them challenges and we are gonna be unlocking the Cuddle Hearts wrap tomorrow. So make sure you guys use a supporting creator code right now. Use mine right there on the screen, YT underscore PookieTube, all capital letters. Next up guys, we're gonna talk about a vaulted weapon being unvaulted on tomorrow's update and returning to Fortnite. If you guys look in the in-game news feed on Fortnite, you guys will see the triumphant return of Cupid's crossbow. So. You guys know that the Cupid Crossbow will be unvaulted from now, probably until now, until the next update for Fortnite. So you guys can expect about maybe about a week and a half using the unvaulted Cupid's bow. Last but not least, I did make a video about this last night, but I just want to include this on today's video just to let you guys know everything that's coming out on version 740s tomorrow for those of you guys who have not seen my previous video. So I'm pretty sure as many of you guys know right now that tomorrow with version 740s update, there will be an infantry rifle added to Fortnite. That's basically another hunting rifle, but I'm pretty sure they are going to be vaulting the hunting rifle and replacing that with the infantry rifle. You guys let me know how you feel down in the comment section below because I'm pretty sure that's going to be a big change for a lot of people, especially notes for no scopers and trick shotters and all that, bro. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be really different. But I'm pretty sure that the infantry rifle is probably basically the same concept as the hunting rifle. So you guys let me know what do you think down in the comment section below with all these changes coming to Fortnite. What vaulted weapon do you want to return on Fortnite, guys? Let me know down below. So guys, that's the end of today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for all the support on the previous videos, bro. Thank you guys so much. I never expected my videos to do so well. I mean. I wish I had more views, but hey, man, they're doing really well. I never, I never thought that you know I was, I would have been able to make videos. So thank you guys so much for the chance you guys gave me on making YouTube videos, bro. So I love you guys, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Drop a like and subscribe, my dudes, and I'm gonna see you guys later.